Sandy Precious Metals, health and safety is the first of our six core values. Safe production that we will not operate if it cannot be done safely. We believe that our culture is created by encouraging respectful and open workplace communication and emphasizing and rewarding the desired behaviors. Safety excellence is a journey. The reduction and ultimately the elimination of injuries requires an organization to move from a dependent culture to one of interdependency. We are moving towards an interdependent culture, one where all workers understand how to work safely, are concerned about their own safety and the safety of all others. The interdependent culture creates a supportive workplace where communication and caring are always evident. We do not accept or tolerate behavior that puts anyone at risk and we take immediate steps to correct such behaviors by ensuring that all workers understand how work is to be done safely and accept their responsibilities to protect themselves and others. Compliance with our safety standards and procedures is unconditional. To ensure that all our workers improve their hazard identification skills and increase their risk awareness, a visible felt leadership program is being instituted to move to an interdependent culture. Visible felt leadership is simply about demonstrating caring and respect through action for the well-being of people. Visible means that it is clearly seen and practiced by all workers. Felt means that there is an important component of caring about personal well-being that is sensed by the workforce. Visible felt leadership must start at the top through strong, visible management commitment to create the foundation of a successful safety management system. To be effective, visible felt leadership must be a top priority for all workers and should be practiced every day. There are several elements of our visible felt leadership program. We are focusing first on workplace interaction where safe behaviors and at-risk behaviors are discussed. Workplace interactions involve person-to-person -person contracts between two or more workers to work safely by discussing the work being undertaken, safe work procedures and addressing any less than adequate behaviors before continuing with the tasks at hand. Workplace interactions are based on the premise of the influence model where I will change my mindset and behavior if I see leaders, peers and reports behaving in the new way, especially those that I look to for guidance. In other words, positive role modeling. Workplace interactions involve leading through questions rather than telling, which results in a transformation in behavior of individuals and teams. Such conversations build our desired interdependent culture because they become an essential element of the organization and the working environment. We expect workers at all levels to demonstrate their own leadership by engaging in workplace interactions. Through ongoing training and support, we will assist you in developing these skills. To achieve the best safety results, everyone from senior management to frontline hourly workers must believe that safety is as important as any other business perimeter, such as quality, productivity and cost. Attitudes and behaviors will be noticed by other workers. Visible felt leadership is about living our values each and every day. Effective workplace interactions will typically be short and concise, focusing on asking questions and listening. The seven steps for having an effective workplace interactions are the following. Entering the workplace. Always stop and observe. Never rush into any workplace without taking the time to thoughtfully observe the physical details of the workplace and the actions of the workers. Pay attention to hazards risks and any unsafe acts. Step 2. Introduce yourself. Particularly if you are not part of the work team, always explain to fellow workers who you are and why you are there. Don't ever carry a clipboard. Never be critical or aggressive. 
Start the conversation by expressing your concern for the safety of your fellow workers, that you'd like to understand their work and the steps being taken to protect themselves. Step three, ask open-ended questions and listen to create a conversation and common understanding. Ask open-ended questions of the workers about the work being performed, the hazards and risks identified and how these are being addressed. Refrain from telling fellow workers that they should or should not be doing. Ask questions about hazards that have not been identified and any unsafe acts that are observed. In this way, mistakes will be arrived at through elimination and the correct procedures will automatically emerge. Listen carefully to the responses and use these to formulate additional questions, creating a common understanding of the steps required to ensure the safety of the worker and protection of the environment. This helps people to relax and not feel defensive so that they can engage constructively in the conversation. Step 4. Accentuate positives and reinforce expected behaviors. Effective workplace interactions focus on the positive aspects and behaviors that were followed in planning and carrying out work. At risk behaviors, aspects that are missed and procedures not being followed must be pointed out. This should always be done through questioning in a calm manner. Our workplace interaction process is never about assigning blame. Step 5. Discuss any other concerns and agree to do the job safely. Ask if there are any safety and or environmental issues concerning the workers that need to be rectified or followed up. Always thank them for their input and promise to get back to them about the issues discussed. Agree about what was done incorrectly. Observe the right behavior in action so that the individual has the opportunity to demonstrate their competency to do the work correctly. Leave them with the reinforcing thought that safety is our number one core value. Step number six. Record the results of your interaction. As soon as you get back to the office, record your findings in our database. Remember that a no-name, no-blame principle applies. If it, however, at risk behavior and or if established and known procedures are ignored more than once, then disciplinary action must be initiated. This is for the protection of the worker and all other people. Step 7. Analyze trends from data to share at meetings. Analyze trends in the data to provide accurate feedback at safety meetings. This will ensure the focus is on areas that need attention and allows reinforcement of all safety values, principles, behaviors and procedures. At DPM, we are growing to be a leader in the gold mining industry and we are committed to safety excellence. Safety excellence is a mindset that we can all achieve. A great company is filled with leaders who believe deeply in safety excellence. To summarize, the seven steps for effective workplace interactions are Step 1. When entering the workplace, always stop and observe. Never rush into any workplace without taking the time to thoughtfully observe the physical details of the workplace and the actions of workers. Step 2. Introduce yourself, particularly if you are not part of the work team, and explain to fellow workers who you are and why you are there. Ask open-ended questions and listen to create a conversation about the work being performed the hazards and risks identified and how these are being addressed. Listen carefully to the responses. Step 4. Accentuate positives, 
reinforce expected behaviors and help identify at-risk behaviors, aspects that are missed and procedures that are not followed. Never assign blame. Step 5. Discuss any other concerns, agree to do the job safely and thank the workers for their input and promise to get back to them about any outstanding issues discussed. Step 6. Record the results of your interaction, remembering that a no-name, no-blame principle applies. Take disciplinary action for repeated violations of established and known procedures. Step 7. Analyze trends from data to share at meetings to ensure that the focus is on areas that need attention. Visible felt leadership workplace interactions will actively change our culture so that every worker starts each day with a sense of purpose and ends each day with a sense of accomplishment. Together, we will be able to protect what really matters, our DPM family.